I haven't really played that much. You can see we in game file up here that I played only really the first episode ever, but we're going to run through it. Um, I've heard a lot of good things about the game. Honestly, I know it takes place from, like, um, it, I guess she's a college girl's perspective, so a lot of strange thing goes on, and not that I really understand a lot of it because I don't get... Uh, some of the situations are definitely different than how I would handle them. But um, it's going to be interesting, a little interesting of a walkthrough of it. So let's get this started then. Uh, let's obviously start with episode one. Oh, it's a new game, that should work. <laughs> uh. Yeah, in this we make choices based off of... You know, make choices based on the decision that happened, and whatever happen you do, it, it can affect your uh, affect the next thing that happens, depending on what you do. Like I said, we're out here. Hello, everyone. Like I said, we're playing a little different game today, a little relaxing game. You know, kind of I don't have to really do much for the storytelling type game. Sets this girl off with a bunch of weird, uh, weird situations she has to handle. Where am I? What's happening? I'm trapped in a storm? How did I get here? And where is here? Uh, I guess she's waking up to a storm here and she has no idea where she's at. Wait, there's a lighthouse. I'll be safe if I can make it there. I hope. Please let me make it there. Like I said, this is a little different of a gameplay we're going to be playing today. It's not quite like Crash. We're like, hey, Crash, I knew what I was doing because I played it a lot. This, I've only really played the first the first story through, but, you know, plus it takes place from perspective of someone. I don't really understand some of it because I would not handle the things the way she does. Number one viewer. Let's go. How you doing, Matt? Oh yeah, and whoever's watching. Holy shit. I might not talk as much today, I'm a little hungover, not gonna lie to you. I'm slightly hungover here. That's why I'm trying to play a relaxing game, I don't have to do as much. At least part of the reason. Whoa. That was so surreal. So she woke up, she must have been asleep dreaming that. But he could be talking about photography, as he likely was. Okay. These I'm in class. Everything's cool. I am okay. From light to shadow. From color to curiosity. Well, I was just joining. What's up out there? Now, can you give me an example of a photographer who perfectly captured the human condition in I black I didn't fall asleep. Um, forever just tuning in. I'm feel like a dream. playing a less stressful Weird. game today. Diane Arbus. Um, there you go, Victoria. <laughs> Why Arbus? Because of her images of- Look at this crap. How can I show this to Mr. Jefferson? I can hear the class laughing at me now. Like she's worried about people laughing at her as if that matters. Like I said, there's a lot of things going on this game Hopeless we would never faces. handle. You feel like totally haunted by the eyes of those sad mothers and children. I can't believe she's I still have this pencil fortune, case. Right? I should upgrade to the 21st bullshit. century. But I like it old school. Okay, then don't Seriously, change though, up to you. I could frame any one of you in a dark corner. And I haven't kept up with my journal as much as I should. And, and if anybody else looked at this, what would they think? Oh boy, got to read her journal here a little bit. October, my favorite month, the best weather. Oh my god, I don't care. I know I don't care. Just don't. And any one of you could do that. She's to like me. so worried about what other people think of her. It's just so weird for Isn't me because I don't worry about people thinking of me at all. Obvious. I do love my analog camera. I should take a quick picture now. Ask she Marge to take her picture in the middle of class for some reason. I believe Max has taken what you kids call a selfie. A dumb word for a wonderful photographic tradition. And Max has a gift. Of course, as you all know, the photo portrait has been popular since the early 1800s. Your generation was not the first to use images for selfie expression. Sorry, I couldn't resist. 
The point remains that the portraiture has always that, been a that kid looks like he's enjoying his class. For as it looks like me and, me and my art classes. Now, Max, since you've captured our interest and clearly want to join the conversation, can you please tell us the name of the process that gave birth to the first self portraits? You're asking oh, yeah, me. You have, you have to pick like certain things throughout the game. To decide mm. and it affects how things know this translate later. Not, Max. From what I is understand, I only played really the first beginning of it. Stuff. Never Louis really played Daguerre it all the way through. Painter who created daguerreotypes, a process that gave portraits a oh, sharp God, the style in the class. Like a Here we go. Now you're totally stuck in the retro zone. Sad face. Very good, Victoria. Oh man, that was just so. The Daguerrean process that brought out so fine detail in people's faces, making them extremely popular from the 1800s onward. The first American daguerreotype self-portrait was done by Robert Cornelius. You can find out all about him in your Look at this crap. Textbook. How can or I show this to Mr. Jefferson? Online. Oh, thank God the class is hey Guys, over. don't forget the deadline to submit a photo in the Everyday Heroes contest. I'll fly out with the winner to San Francisco where you'll be feted by the art world. It's great exposure and it can kickstart a career in photography. Pretty so sure it's Stella, a college campus, Melissa, by the way. get it together. Taylor, don't hide. I'm still waiting for your entry, too. And yes, Max, I see you pretending not to see me. That's fucking whack shit. So, let's see, should yes. I go up? Victoria. <laughs> Victoria doesn't waste a second kissing ass. Even if you're submitting your photo for the competition, everybody in class is turning in a photo, so... You see the dilemma? I know, Mr. Jefferson. And we have a class kiss up up here. Class kiss ass. Uh, should I go up and talk to them? I think. I think I should. I just really think Everyday Heroes is an important cultural. Excuse me, Mr. Jefferson. Can I talk to you for a moment? Yes. Excuse you. No, Victoria. Excuse us. I'd never let one of photography's future stars avoid handing in her no, I'm picture. I'm so glad. <laughs> I don't know what answer I should take here. Um, I'm just gonna go if I don't have one any time. I didn't have any time. Yeah, I'm Way too one. much homework. Yeah, liar. Max, you're a better photographer than a liar. Now I know it's a drag to hear some old dude lecture you, but life won't He's wait like for 25. you to play catch up. Like you're young. Dude. The world is yours. Blah blah blah. Right? But you do have a gift. You have the fever to take images, to frame the world only the way you envision it. Now. All you need is the courage to share your gift with others. And that's what separates the artist from the amateur. Oh yeah, sure. This is ridiculous. I always get so shy and nervous around Mr. Jefferson. Oh, I guess she likes him. Every time I look at Victoria, I feel like she's talking smack about me. She probably is. <laughs> Though I wouldn't worry about it, not that it matters what she thinks. Because it doesn't. I guess I'll have to leave now. You didn't tell me how cute I looked yet. I was about to. You always Welcome to the real world. Cute. Hot. Then I might send you a special picture. Because Max wants everybody to see how cute she is. She plays it so shy. I need a serious time out in the bathroom. She like literally splash water on my face and make sure I don't look like a total loser. I hate that class. It's so fucking boring. She's so fucking shy. She takes selfies with a giant camera. <laughs> This game's interesting. It's different. It's much different kind of game. I've seen Brooke hanging out with Warren. So I can step she down here and look like at literally everyone and talk to all of them what she thinks of every single one of these people. I hate bully jockstraps like Logan. And he's a vortex club member. really don't know why she cares what everyone thinks so much though, man. I don't get it. Driving a car by the seaside. Watching the world from the bright side. Some nice common music here. Yeah. I think this is where the game really you starts getting quiet. interesting. Nobody can see my meltdown, except for me. 
she's going to get upset about nothing. Like, I don't know what she's upset about. I actually really don't know what she's upset about at all. I don't get it. Nothing, like, happened. Now, who would bother to write that crap? Uh, poster. The last time I got a flu shot, I got the flu. Fuck you. So fuck that flu. I remember when somebody punked the alarm last month. At least I got out of science class for that quiz. Yeah, I think I gotta wait in here for a little bit and then something crazy happens. I don't remember exactly what it is. This is the only part I really play the game, but I don't really remember. Just relax. Stop torturing yourself. You have a gift. She's just turning the picture. Fuck I don't know why she's worried about it so much. And she rips it up. And she rips it up. So just handing it in and seeing what happens. She rips it up. When a door closes, a window opens. Or something like that. Okay, girl, you don't get a photo op like this every day. I'm gonna try to take a picture of this butterfly. Right, here we go. That's where things start getting interesting. Why is the guy in the girl's bathroom? Seems like he's a little lost. It's cool, Nathan. <laughs> Don't stress. You're okay, bro. Just count to three. Don't be scared. Lester. You own this school. Lester, watch I want it. I could blow it up. I guess it could be a, new, a neutral's bathrooms. I'm not really sure. So what do you want? I hope you check the perimeter, as my step ass would say. Now, let's talk business. I got nothing for you. Wrong. You got hella cash. That's my family, not me. Oh, boo-hoo, poor little rich kid. I know you've been pumping drugs and shit to kids around here. I bet oh, your respectable family oh, would help me out if I went to them. Man, I can see the headlines now. Leave them out of this bitch. I can uh, tell everybody uh, Nathan Prescott is a punk ass who begs like a little girl and talks to himself. You don't know who the fuck I am or who you're oh, messing around oh, with. Where did you get that? What are you doing? Come on, put that thing down. Don't ever tell me what to do. I'm so sick of people trying to control me. You are going to get in hella more trouble for this than drugs. Nobody would ever even miss your punk ass, would they? Get that gun away from me, psycho! No! Oh shit. Oh shit. We got someone's got shot it up in here. Well, this never happened to me on a, on a college campus. Whoa. What the fuck? How? Whoa. How can Was that she be? dreaming that? I was in the bathroom. He shot that poor girl. I held up my hand. And then I was back here. Yes, she likely was. Was she dreaming that the whole time? Who I already knows? heard this lecture. From light to shadow. From color. To now shadow. Kate is being hassled again. Or can and she see the future? The phone rings. This is real. Now, oh, shit. Can you give me an example of a Man, photographer? I cannot believe who this. Captured the human condition in black and white. Oh, there goes her. Okay. There goes her uh, picture photos. I might as well go all the way. Bueller. Can I actually reverse time? Why Arvis? So you can rewind time a little bit here in this game. That's part of like the cool things about it. First time if you make a mistake, you can fix them. But I know it has effects. I did it. It does have effects if you do too much. Photographer who perfectly captured the game. Anybody? Bueller? Max, don't Hi, freak out. Yes. Not yet. There you go, Victoria. Why so let's take a selfie again. Because of her images of that When I took my selfie, Jefferson asked me a question. If he does again, I'll know this is for real. Kids call a selfie, a dumb word for a wonderful photographic tradition. There we go. And Max has a gift. I know I'm not dreaming this. It's real. I can tell. The early 1800s. Your generation. So I can go back in time. Selfie expression. What if that girl isn't dead yet? The point Can I save that her? The portraiture has always been a vital aspect of art and photography. For I need to go to the bathroom quickly and check it out. Now, Max, 
Since you've captured our interest and clearly want to join the conversation, can you please tell us the name of the process that gave birth to the first self-portraits? Instead of answering the question, she, uh, let's go have, let's go, I'm sick. I'm sorry. Let's go, I'm sick. I feel sick. May I be excused? Nice try, Max. But you're not going to get away that easy. We can talk more after class. Is there anybody oh, here shit. who knows their stuff? Jefferson wants to keep me Who's after class. And I need time to save that girl. A process oh, that to give portraits move, a sharp reflective style like a mirror. Now you're totally stuck in the retro zone. Sad face. Gotcha. Very good, Victoria. What if I rewind again process, and give him the right answer? Detail in people's faces. So let's rewind and give him the right answer. Max, since you've captured our interest and clearly want to join the conversation, can you please tell us the name of the process that gave birth to the first self-portraits? The Daguerrean process, invented oh, there you go. by a French now I know painter the answer. named Louis Daguerre around 1830. Crazy. Somebody has been reading as well as posing. Nice work, Max. The Daguerrean process made portraiture hugely popular, mainly because it gave the subjects clear defined features. But you can learn more when you actually finish reading the assigned chapters. Max is so far way ahead of everyone. And guys, don't forget the deadline to submit a photo in the Everyday Heroes contest. I'll fly out with the winner to San Francisco, where you'll be feted by the art world. It's great exposure, and it can kickstart a career in photography. So Stella yeah, and Alyssa get it together. Career Taylor, photography. don't hide. I'm still waiting for your Tom entry, majors. too. And yes, Max, I see you pretending not to see me. Max, you are not crazy. You are not dreaming. It's time to be an Everyday Hero. Yep, time to be an everyday superhero. Yes, Victoria, you still have to do your homework this week. Even if you're submitting your photo for the competition, everybody in class. Ah, I wonder if I talk to him if I can give him my photo this time. You see the dilemma? I know, Mr. Excuse me, Mr. Jefferson, can I talk to you for a moment? Yes, excuse you. No, Victoria, <coughs> excuse us. I'd never let one of photography's future stars avoid handing in her picture. Oh, man. I'm not avoiding, just... Biding time? Waiting for the elusive right moment? Exactly. Max, don't wait too long. John Lennon once said that life is what happens while you're busy making Make other plans. plans. Go on now. Don't let me stop you. Victoria hasn't moved from that spot. Tell me to rewind here. I'm not sure why sure I have to, but it's time to be an everyday hero. Okay. Well, I'm gonna go to the bathroom then. Let's go to the I bathroom. I see you, Max Caulfield. Stuff. Don't even think about leaving here until we talk about your entry. Oh, we gotta talk about it anyway. I'd never let one of photography's oh future skip. I'm on top of it. I think John Lennon once said that. Life is what happens while you're busy making other plans. Max, you're on fire today. All the right answers, good. Make sure you finish working on it by today. Really must be nice. I have faith in you. To be go out, go back in time and just change. <laughs> must be nice, Makes make class real easy. I hope I have enough time to get to the bathroom. Please, please. No, I don't want to do that now. Move faster. Gotta run, gotta run IP really, really bad. Okay, Max, retrace every step. I washed my face. I shredded my photo. Then the butterfly flew in. And I took a photo. Leave them out of this bitch. I can tell everybody Nathan Prescott is a punk ass who begs like a little girl and talks to himself. You don't know who the fuck I am. What is she gonna do? This dude doesn't go. How's he gonna stop this? 
What are you doing? How the fuck? Did you Come on, put that thing down. Tell me what to do. Oh. Oh, sorry, it's happening again. People trying to control me. I need a hammer to break it open. Hell, more trouble for this than drugs. Nobody would ever even miss your punk ass, would they? You're going to get hurt. Holy shit! I can't let this happen. If I can reverse time again, I can help her. Don't ever tell me what to do. So somehow I need. Sick of people trying to control me. Oh, there's the hammer. We're going to get in hell of more trouble for this than drugs. Of people trying to control me. You are going to get in hell of more trouble for this than drugs. Nobody would ever even miss your punk ass, would they? Gotta get the hammer. Take the hammer. Oh. Shit. Gotta reverse a little bit here. Gotta get this Nobody hammer faster. Would ever even miss your punk oh ass, my god. Get that gun away from me, psycho! Get that gun away from me, psycho! Oh my god. Give me the goddamn hammer. Don't ever tell me what to do. I'm so sick of being There we go. There we go. No way. There we go. Don't ever touch me again, freak! <laughs> Another shitty day. That did not happen. This cannot be real. Oh, but it I is. I just saw a girl get shot and then saved her. What the fuck is going on? Maybe she's on some really good Do drugs. Do not freak out. Maybe she's on some really good drugs or something. Hey, do you hear that fire alarm? That means you should be outside. I had to use the bathroom. Girls always use that excuse. Excuse for what? For whatever you're up to. Your face is covered in guilt. The alarm tripped me out. Then trip on out of here, Missy. Or are you hiding something? Huh? Thank you, Mr. Madsen. The situation is under control. Seems like There's a no emergency guy. here. Leave Miss Caulfield alone and please turn off that alarm since that's your job. He seems like a real small guy. You look a little stressed out. Are you okay? I'm... I'm just a little worried about my future. You're sweating pinballs. Is that all you're thinking about? You could always be up front with me, Max. Or have you done something wrong? Is that it? Well, Max, talk to me. Report. Um, I don't know. I feel... <sighs> Should I report him? He's a rich kid. That's probably not going to work. So, uh, we're gonna hide the truth. I just got sick in class. Um, uh, female trouble. Except you're wandering around like a zombie. And do you think that's the first time a student has used that line on me? It's the truth. I felt dizzy in Mr. Jefferson's just class. Just tell me what you're hiding. You can trust me. There's nothing to hide. I got sick. It happens, you know. There's that teen toot again. You know, I've, I've heard enough. Don't think I don't know what goes on around here. You've only been here for three weeks, and you're already causing conflict. I don't think your parents will approve when they find out. Now get outside with the class. Please. No, he does not buy that at all. I may have just flushed my scholarship down the toilet. So yes, I, I could rely on actually we'll telling the truth. Eh, nah, it's fine. I'm not gonna even go for that. We're not going to tell him that <laughs> No chance. Sounds like a whole lot of trouble you don't need to be involved in. Ready to save the girl's life, that's enough. Rachel Amber. She looks so hopeful and pretty. I wonder what happened to her. Who knows? People just disappear on this college campus, I guess. Maybe the rich kid got her. Oh, I have a new message. My camera was raised. Are you surely I hope so. Okay, I better get to my dorm and grab that flash drive. So I gotta go to my dorm now, now that I know where my dorm's at, but we'll try to find it. Open journal. 
the people that I've interacted with, I guess. What's up, Daniel? Oh, hi, Max. Could I, um, ask you a question? Would you mind letting me sketch you? I do put my sketches on Facebook, though. Sure. I'd be honored, Daniel. Makes me feel like a muse. Funny you should say that. I was just thinking about my real muse. Rachel Amber. Uh, hard to avoid a pressure. Uh, I wonder what happened to her. So what happened to her? There's got to be a story. She just stopped coming to class. Some people said she ran away. Some say she jumped off a cliff. I just hope she's okay. Should I ever start drawing? Okay. Her? Why don't you start drawing me? Even though I must be a step down from Rachel. No way. You're a good substitute, Muse. Oh, that's a good posture. Good, good. Yeah, I'd get drawn by people every day too, obviously. You I mean, look at this physique. Best portrait ever. This action has consequences. Oh boy, I don't know if they're good or bad. They get put on Facebook. That could be bad, you're right. I didn't even think about that. <laughs> uh, whatever. Come back to bite me in the ass. Okay, let's go to the dormitories. Come on, Logan, bring it, bro. Yeah. Got some jacks playing some football out here. I need to go to my room and return Warren's flash drive. Oh. Hi, Max. How are you? How are you doing? Fantastic. I'm by myself for eating chiclet. Pretty soon I'll be bonding with Victoria at the Vortex Club. I think you're better off reading chiclet. Good point. I was like Victoria. Me. Fuck that bitch. It's Max Caulfield, the selfie hoe of Blackwell. Really? What a lame gimmick. Even Mark, Mr. Jefferson, falls for your wave hipster bullshit. We're the Daguerrean processor. But okay. You could barely even say that. I guess you got your meds filled. <laughs> Since you yeah. know all the answers, so, geez, I guess so you bitchy. have to find another way into the dorm. So ridiculous we ain't moving. and bitchy. Oh wait, hold that pose. So original. Don't worry, Max. I'll put a vintage filter on it right before I post it all over social medias. Now, why don't you go fuck your selfie? Oh yes, Victoria. I'll get your bony ass out of my way. Why don't you go fuck your selfie? Like what? I don't want to mess with that ladder and hurt poor Samuel. I just want to get Victoria the hell out of the way. There goes Samuel Da Vinci to paint the window. Like what? Like... What the hell? Are you kidding? Look at this! Chill, Victoria. It's just water. Yeah, water on my cashmere. Do you know how much this oh, fucking no. outfit oh, costs? Oh, you God. Great. Not the I cashmere. I can't even chill on the steps. Not that goddamn cashmere. No. So, do you understand English? Get lost. Yo, fuck this bitch. Do you understand English? Get lost. Can't just walk by her. That's so dumb. I want to rewind because I think I gotta do something here. Uh, let's see. Let's rewind. Or 
one more. No. Okay, let's see if this works. So I put the bucket. Uh, not sure how this works, but we're gonna try this. Not really sure how this goes. What the hell? Are you kidding? Look at this. Chill, Victoria. It's just water. Yeah, water on, on my on cashmere. Here. Do you know how much this fucking outfit costs? You look great. I can't even chill on the steps. Yeah, Samuel, sorry. Wet, wet paint is not good for hair, nope. Sorry. Get the hell away from me, weirdo. Hold on, hold on. We'll get some towels. We'll be right back. So move your ass before I dry. It worked. Don't mess with Max, bitches. Yeah, don't mess with her. Uh, hey, Victoria. What do you want, Max? Oh, dude, like, I... Oh, no, she's a bitch. Uh, I'm not covering her. She's the worst. Don't. Don't say a word, Max. Oh, wait. Hold that pose. And no filter needed before I post this. Now, please move. I've had a messed up day, and I'm going to my room. You do that? I know where you live. So does Nathan. Maybe I shouldn't have done that. Now I have to get... Yeah, I don't really care. She was a bitch. Who cares? I really don't feel bad for her. Room 217? No way in hell am I ever going in here. Victoria is going to be pissed we took so long. Oh no, Victoria might be mad at you for taking too long. Oh no. Okay, this is just mean and stupid. Oh, bang for Jesus. <laughs> I should have kept the old one. That's less fun. All my things have freaking consequences. Everything I do. Home sweet home, my favorite cocoon. I look so pathetic. Oh my god, just so Daniel pathetic. has so much talent. I hope nobody hates on it just because it's me. I am so addicted to this site. Look at these vintage beauties. Camera porn. Nice. Porn makes me laugh. It's nice to feel like I already made a real friend here. Wait, hold on. You can read I, that Lauren makes me laugh. It's nice to feel like I, I already well, made I a real friend that. here. That's ridiculous. I thought it read to me. I try to read the whole thing. Fuck that. Fuck that. Unless some of viewers want me to, then I'll read it, but other than that. Looks like Dana left me a little post-it note. Hey girl, I borrow your drive so I can watch some flicks while I study. <laughs> if you need it back, just talk me down my room. Great. Now I have to go get the flash drive from Dana's room. Damn, now you gotta walk all the way to Dana's room. One day I'll organize my film collection. One day I'll get an actual HD TV. You are thirsty. I'm the worst baby mama. Drink up. Why does every I watered the plan? How does that have consequences? You can't get out now, Dana. So tell me the truth or rotten there. Oh boy. What are they fighting about Welcome now? Welcome to the real drama queens of Blackwell. This is so stupid. Hey Juliet, is everything cool? Oh yes, Max. I've locked Dana in the room because we're cool. You are 
ridiculous. What did she do? What didn't she do? Dana's been sexting with my boyfriend. Ouch. Oh, damn. How did you find out? Oh, shit. Uh, why do you care? Why are you even asking me? You never talk. Just zone out with your camera. That's why I'm talking to you now. What's my last name? <laughs> uh, how would I know this? Like, I wouldn't. Um, uh, she looks like an Olsen. Juliet. Ju Juliet Olsen. That was truly sad. Thanks for your concern, Max Caulfield. By the way, Juliet Watson. Oh no, you didn't remember her last name. Oh god damn it. So now you go back and you remember her real name. Hey, Juliet. Hey, Is ever oh yes, Max. I've... Skip through what we already heard. Juliet Watson, you be nice. I'm flattered. I didn't even think you knew you my name at all. It. Uh, of course I do. Thanks. Yeah, why wouldn't I know? I locked Dana in because she was sexting Zach, my boyfriend. Unbelievable. Would Dana do that? According to Victoria, Dana would do anything to date a quarterback. According to Victoria? Victoria's the worst. Huh. She saw the sext, and Zachary won't answer his phone. Once Dana admits it, she can go. Straight to hell. Now I gotta sneak in her room. Like seriously? <laughs> now I gotta sneak into someone else's room. This is so messed up. Like no. Which one's even Victoria's room? Who knows? Oh, right here. Guess the one that has Victoria's room on it. Oh my god. I would never like why would you do this? Like like oh god. Pages of privacy, oh who cares? Yeah, who cares? Proof somewhere. That Boom! This is the email I need to show Juliet. Now I have to print this fast and get the hell out of here. How do I print it? <laughs> Where is the printer? Oh, print email. Good. Probably the button says print email. This is so weird, just walking into someone's room. Oh my god. This better convince Juliet that Dana is innocent. Yeah, let's just walk into someone's room. It's fine. Without their knowledge. How you doing, Gina? Just walking into people's room and stealing their stuff now. That's just not fucked up at all. Juliet, read this. Horse. I'm an asshole. I'm sorry, Dana. You are. And I hope so. You really think I'd mess around with Zachary? No. But I get stupid jealous. Why isn't she I mad at him? I owe you dinner. <laughs> Still love me? And you do my laundry. Thanks, Max. I don't understand. You're like the Blackwell Ninja. <laughs> I don't get now it. let's see what Zach has to say about Victoria. You set oh, me I guess free. You're going after him. Thank you. Warren's flash drive is on my desk. It's like so ridiculous. Oh my god, she was texting my boyfriend, and I'm gonna get her. Almost done. Get the flash drive, and then I'll go see Warren. Where is the flash drive? Must protect my precious, so Max never has to chase it down again. Hey, Dana. Seriously, thanks again. I can't believe Juliet locked me in my own room. Real mature. Oh my god. Victoria is not nice. I don't get it. She has everything. And to pull that prank on a friend? Just because they're in the Vortex Club doesn't mean they're BFFs. I'm in it, and Victoria creeps me out. They Max, you're smart BFFs. to be a loner here. Though Warren obviously likes hanging with you. He's a good guy. He's a good guy. A geek like me. You saw the files in his flash drive. Tons of crazy shit. Films I've never even heard of. And in a special folder called Max. Yeah, okay. I gotcha. <laughs> Alright. So let's go find Max.
or Warren, whatever. Oh wait, do we have another message from someone? Oh, my, my mother texted me. Principal sent me an email saying I'm concerned about your attitude, behavior. I oh, yeah, don't care. Do not care. Definitely don't care. Now I gotta go find Warren, wherever he's hiding. Fuck this shit. Ow. Oh, that's fucked that up. Hurt. Damn. I better rewind. How do I even stop that? Like, how would I even stop that from happening? Honestly, I have no clue how to stop that from happening. Fuck this shit. Get lost, hipster. I'm not doing any interviews. Get lost. Fuck this shit. Ow. That hurt. Ah, well, you know what? Whatever. I'm not going to worry about it. I don't think you have to. Don't care. Hi, horror. Hope you enjoyed that pick. It's the last one. No, I've only played through this episode. Oh, I gotta tell the girl sitting? Oh, well, look at that. It's the only episode I played and I walked right through it last time. So I guess I could, uh, try this again then. Alyssa, move your head. Oh. If you insist, Matt. That's how that works. Now that's what I'm talking about. I actually helped somebody. And this kind of will have... Oh, everything has consequences in this game, I swear. I never know if they're going to be good or bad either. At all. Yeah, no, Gene, I've only played through the first story completely, and I didn't do that part last time at all. So don't think I'm blind. I see everything here at Blackwell. Do you understand what I'm saying? No, and leave me alone. Uh, I don't think either one of them are good ideas. Neither one of these are good ideas. Uh, but intervene. Taking a photo seems real messed up. Hey, why don't you leave her alone? Excuse us. This is official campus business. Excuse me. You shouldn't be yelling at students or bullying them. Hey, hey. Nobody is bullying anybody. I'm doing my job. No, you're not. You're part of the problem, Missy. I will remember this conversation. Oh, Max, that was great. I think you scared him for once. I, I have to go, but thank you. It means that a lot. So Anytime, weird. Kate. Something's going on with that. That does not seem right at all. I felt like an everyday hero helping Kate, but... Something definitely was not right about that whole thing. There's no doubt about that. Something was shaky. Yeah, anytime I don't know what I'm doing, uh I'm glad oh, I huge plot in that twist time. at the end. Can't okay. Stand to see people yeah, anytime annoyed. I don't know what I'm doing, you can always tell me in the chat, by the way, because I have no idea what's going on in this fucking game. Half time. Uh, I guess that's Warren. Well yeah, it is Yo, Warren. Max, check it out. What up, Max? How are you? Here's your flash. Thanks. Oh, friend zoned. No oh, friend zoned. So friend zoned. Cool. Very old school. 1978 to be exact. Now we can go to the drive-in. There's one in Newburgh just 60 miles away. You're in the wrong time, Warren. Just but 60 then, miles. But then, so am I. You okay? It's been one strange fucking day. Man, I saw that Victoria didn't take huh, down that picture on they Facebook. Said that's the name of the title. Major bitch move. No, 
No worries, Warren. No worries. I took a sweet shot of Victoria I can't wait to share. Oh, score one for Team Max. It would be so karmic to see her ass clown face all over the interwebs. I guess she does deserve it for all the shitty things she's done to people here. By the way, I saw Daniel's sketch of you online. Not bad, but I could do a much better job. You can draw? I thought you were blinded by science, not art. Art is science. Music is math, et cetera, et cetera. I'd put Stephen Hawking against Picasso any day. Hardcore. So you must this use a computer to draw. Is, uh... Of course. I'd love to tweak one of your selfies with some cool graphics. That might not suck. I'll let you know. So did you get a chance to check out the movie booty on my flash drive? Booty booty, movie booty. No, I've been way too busy with class and life. Damn, girl, you had it like a year. Or a week. I did browse through all the titles, Drama Queen. Ha ha. Make sure you watch Cannibal Holocaust. Seen it. I was more disturbed by all those emo vampire movies in there. Can a sensitive high school boy love sensitive vampires too? So you're sensitive. Ouch, that sounds awful the way you say it. This dude's a loser. This dude is such a loser. No, I was impressed you had faster pussycat kill kill. Russ Mayer was a genius of black and white. Whatever that Plus, is. Babes with breasts. Who would beat your sensitive ass down? If I was lucky. Speaking of hip and fast, we should cruise out in my car to an actual movie this week. But you seem distracted. Uh, Utah. I need to talk to somebody. Uh, just to get it out of my system. Dr. Warren Graham is in the house. I won't even prescribe you any meds. Tell me everything. For reals, Warren, this is between you and me, not social media. Yeah, damn Don't social insult media. me. Max, go on. I had this incredibly bizarro experience in Mr. Jefferson's class today. I mean, life-changing. Have you ever had a dream so real it was like a movie? Max Caulfield, right? Oh boy, here You're one we of the go. Jefferson's photo groupies? I'm one of his students. What the fuck ever? I know you like to take pictures, especially when you're hiding out in the bathrooms. You best tell me what you saw, now. Uh, Answer me, bitch. What are you, oh, yeah, what are you talking this about? Too. I know you're new here, but don't even play stupid with me. This kid's I'm a not bitch new, too. I've lived here for years. Then you should know the Prescotts own this shithole. Then you don't have to worry about me. Worry about yourself. Do not analyze me. I pay people for that. Worry about yourself. Of course you do. Max Caulfield. Of course you do. Take a step back, Nathan Prescott. Why does, why does everyone You're call people by their last name? Get away from her, dude. Hey, hey he tries to play the hero. Alone. Nobody tells me what to do. Not my parents. Not the principal. That. Or that whore right in the bathroom. <gasps> Nice. Max? Chloe? No way. Oh, I guess you know him. You again. Warren. Oh, bro, I got this. Oh, Dad, Warren's gonna Max. get his ass kicked. Warren get is gonna get your punk ass this out of there now! Don't even try to run! Nobody! Nobody! Oh, there comes the security guard way too late. Man, doing his job. Nathan Prescott is messed up and dangerous. This day never ends. Oh, and thanks, Chloe. After five years, you're still Max Caulfield. Don't give me the guilty face. At least pretend you're glad to see me. I am seriously glad to see you. Oh, and thanks, Chloe. It makes perfect sense I'd see you today. Yes, it's been that kind of day. So what did that freak That was the same you? girl that she didn't know in the bathroom, but she knows her now. I don't understand. It seems like a plot twist. It seems like some plot holes here. But whatever. Hopefully nothing after today. So, how do you know Nathan? He's just another Arcadia asshole. Your friend really took a beat down for you. Warren? Yeah, I, I go owe to Arcadia, him big time. baby. You're not the only one in debt, and you're already causing trouble. 
I thought it would be quiet here. Feels so weird to be back. Beaver so college. I guess Seattle sucked hard? I guess. It was cool, but I felt kind of lonely out of my league. I, I would think you'd fit right in with the art fits school hipsters. All the time. Right. You look like the cover of hipstergirl.com. <laughs> this girl you play is so insecure it's ridiculous. That's why I'm here. Please, it's girl. Unbelievable. You came back for Blackwell Academy. My Only for Mark Jefferson. Jefferson. He was a pretty famous photographer in the 90s. I've always loved his work. Those that can't do, teach. I'm glad you find a good reason to come back. Don't you think I'm happy to see you? No. You were happy to wait five years without a call or even a text. Damn. Oh, shit. Uh, I feel like I should say I'm sorry for that. I don't know. I'm sorry. I know things were tough on you when I left. How do you know? You weren't even here. Uh, I here didn't order my parents to move specifically goes, to fuck you over, Here Chloe. goes guilt trips. You've been at Blackwell for almost a month without letting me know. Enough said. I just wanted to settle in first and not be such a shy, cliche geek. I totally would have contacted you. I bet you don't use these sad excuses on Mr. Jefferson. Don't use them on me, Max. Such a stupid argument. Like, seriously? So dumb. Oh my god, you didn't talk to me in five years. Oh my god. Broken. Oh man, are you serial? Wow, haven't heard that one in a while. Not everything changes. Except my camera has officially taken a shit. My step douche has a boatload of tools. Maybe you can fix it in my place. I need very specific tiny tools. Bird alert. My stepdad has a fully stocked garage. And he actually step is a tiny douche. tool. Welcome home, Max. Not stepdad, step douche. Love it. Come on in, don't be shy. The house Maybe still looks nice. Home, shit, home. <laughs> this Chloe girl does not seem to like where she, her life at all. Like, at all. Guess we'll probably find out why, but. My room looks a bit different than the last time you saw it. It's cool. At least we can chill out. This isn't exactly my chill out zone. My step Fuhrer makes sure of that. Come in and close the door. Put on some music while I medicate. Oh yeah, I want to medicate too. <laughs> Don't talk about them. <laughs> uh, so I gotta put on music somehow. Let's find out how. She looks super happy. She looks super sad. She looks super stoned. She looks super stupid. Uh, am I gonna put on music? It won't play without any power. Oh, probably need to turn the power on first. That'll probably help. No, I need a disc, probably. I'm assuming that I would need a disc. Houston, we have the power. But we need to find... Hey, that TV used to be in the living room. Yeah, now it's here. Five years made things change, isn't it? Chloe's trash overfloweth. So it was Chloe who printed all those flyers. So Chloe knows the girl is missing. Interesting. Search these pictures. Look at that. Chloe and her dad were so close. Yeah, she didn't have blue hair before, and now she does. I think she looks better at blue hair. I like the blue hair. Nice little style. I gotta find this damn CD now. Where is this damn CD? Uh, 
Ah, oh, found it. Huh, they are friendly a lot. Hey, give me that. Sorry, I wasn't trying to be nosy. Obviously, she was a good friend. It's putting it mildly. That's Rachel Amber. Her missing person posters are all, all over, over Blackwell. Blackwell. Yeah, I put them up. She was my angel. After my dad died and you moved, I felt abandoned. Rachel saved my life. Man, I had no idea. Well, you never made much effort to find out. I was 14. We were best friends. I never, I never forgot. forgot. Even if I was an asshole and didn't keep in touch. But you had Rachel. Rachel had my back. We were gonna kick the world's ass. You would laugh at how different we were. She wanted to be a star. She looks like a model. That was her plan. Our plan. Get the hell out of Bigfootville and into Los Angeles. Oh, what about your mom? Let's see what happened. Let's so see what, what happened. happened. Did your folks, your mom, try to stop you? My mom was too busy hooked up with Sergeant Shithead. I feel the love. Now, when did Rachel actually disappear? Six months ago. She just left Arcadia. Without a word. Without me. How do you, How know? Do you know she disappeared? Maybe she wanted to start a totally new life. Unlike you, she would have told me, okay? Something happened to her. I believe you. I'm just trying to get all deductive. Before Rachel left, she said she met somebody who changed her life. And poof. And you haven't heard anything from her since? Like everybody in my life. My dad, you, and Rachel. Gone. Can you put on some music now? Obviously, it's a sensitive topic for abandonment. Anyway, you can find tools to fix your camera in the garage. Chloe, are you okay? Sure, I'm awesome. I just want to blaze and be alone for a moment. So leave her alone. So let's go find some tools in the base in the garage. Why do you have to click to go downstairs? Why can't you just walk down steps? Nope. Someone locked it from the other side. Well, that's locked. Doesn't look like the Price family is rolling in dough these days. Obviously not. She has like all the- like why does she even have Victoria's number who hates her? I don't, I don't understand. Yeah, let's just use other people. I haven't messages. seen this place five. in five years. Seems like forever. Interesting. It kind of sounds like the guy from the uh, from the the guy that was picking on that girl. I'm wondering if it's her stepdad. It's interesting. I'll find the damn garage. I should be able to find the tools I need here. Ooh, what's up here? Shit! Butterfingers! Oh, yeah, that will probably, that's a problem. Kate Marsh? Why the hell would he have pictures of her? Okay, this is getting totally weird. Oh, I knew something was weird about this. 
There's something weird going on. Poor little deer. It's not enough to kill you. They have to display your head. Oh, what a poor deer. Boom, precision screwdrivers. Except I can't reach them. Oh, well, we're gonna push it off. That's what we're gonna do. With the washing machine. Uh, of that course. was very smart, dumbass. No can reach. Uh, wait, I know what you're supposed to do. I know what you were supposed to do. So I gotta push that under there. That way, we knock this thing off. It'll land on it, hopefully. And you can pull it out. Yes, you have mad skills, Max. Mad skills. Let's look around for a little longer. Got a TV in there for some reason. I put, is there anything on the TV I can look at? What the? Chloe's stepdad actually installed cameras in the rooms? For reals? Wow. This guy has serious trust issues. Do Chloe and Joyce even know about this? Oh, that's messed up. He's just installing things now. Someone's real paranoid. Slightly. No, don't turn it back on. I want to turn it off. Turn, turn it off. I'm gonna shut this door though, because I know that I look. I'm going to close the door. Yes, thank you. I don't ever want to use no this password. computer or not. Like it would help me find tools anyway. Yeah, I don't know the password, so I don't care. If someone knows the password, you can comment it. I'll look at it. Anyways, played this game because, like I said, I've never really played through it. So. No, don't open that. God damn it. I wonder if the password is in here. I don't want to look at these creepy photos again. Why does David have them? No password. Like it would help me find tools anyway. I oh, can't just put that in. That's dumb. I wish you could just put in the password and try and figure it out. But I guess that's not how this game works. Ah, it's a design they messed up. That could have been cool. Check out the muscle car. Chloe's stepdad must be a gearhead. Hashtag gearhead. Cool. Now it's opened. Definitely know someone opened that. Like, <sighs> so where is her room? You found the tools. Sweet. You can sit at my desk and fix your camera. Yeah, I have a feeling her stepdad's the same guy that was weird to that girl. I'm pretty sure, anyway. That's what this is telling me so far, but I'm not. I can't hunch and prove it. So? I can't fix this thing. Are these your new photos? Yeah, I just took them today. Let me see. Booyah, you skank. Karma's a bitch. Nice framing, too. Wait, I've seen this before. Uh, no way. When did you take this? You took this photo, you brat? In the bathroom today. You set off the alarm. That's why Nathan raged after you. It totally makes sense. You hella saved my life. Was her. 
Now tell me the truth, Max. I'm not gonna lie to her now, that's ridiculous. I was there, hiding in the corner. Damn, you are a ninja. A ninja would have cut Nathan's head off. I just took a butterfly photo. That is so badass. Oh yeah, I almost wet myself when I saw the gun. So, did you recognize me? Yeah, no, probably obviously not at all because he didn't notice it was her. Not at all. Your hair and clothes are so different. I hope so. I'm sure this is all so weird to you after coming back. Like you said, it's been that kind of day. So you must have overheard our conversation. Uh, to be honest, why well, can't yes, I heard the whole thing because that's what I was just said. a bit. There is no way you didn't hear every single vowel. Okay, I only heard something about money, drugs. But that's it. Now for the big question. Did you tell anybody? Well, we did it, right? We can say no. No, I didn't know what to do. I don't blame you. That's some intense shit. Maybe I should go to the principal. The principal? Are you still 12? That drunk jackass only cares about cash for Blackwell Academy. Don't trust him. See, Seriously, be I didn't him. blab to anybody. Promise. Thank God. I'll tell you more someday. And I seriously owe you, Max. Someday. I, uh, know it was your birthday last month. This was my real father's camera. I want you to have it. That's so cool you remembered my birthday, but I can't take this. Of course you can. My dad would be pissed if I never used it, and now I know it'll be used awesomely. And I'll snag this picture as a symbol of our reunion. Cool? Figure. Yes, of course it's cool. Thank you. This camera is so sweet. Super sweet. Now that we got that mushy shit out of the way, sweet. I feel like stage diving. Let's thrash this place. You're crazy. Yep, yep, I'm fucking insane in the brain. Let's dance. Shake that bony white ass. Or take my picture with your new camera. <laughs> my kind of girl right here. I like Chloe. Chloe's cool. This song fucking rules. Can't dance, hippie? Come on. Rock out, girl. Break it down, Max. Yo, turn it off. Turn it off. How many times have I told you to stop blasting that punk shit? Dude, the music's not oh, even God, on. You're such an ass. Asshole. I'm coming up. We need to talk. Oh, no fucking way. You need to hide now. My stepdad will kill me if he finds you here. She, he has cameras. It's not like it matters. Please. Chill. I'm changing. Is that okay? Find a place to hide now. Chloe. I'm coming. What are you doing? Claws, I guess, is the best Chloe, place, but I think he's a camera in there. I'm changing. Give me a minute. Don't get smart. Just let me in. Now. Please. One second. My bra is stuck. I'm not screwing around, soldier. Chloe, open this door. Uh, I don't know where else I can hide. I'm like, giving what? you exactly three seconds to open the door. One, two, three. Shit. Oh, well. Can't What's going him. on in here? Oh, Why is, is she him. here? None of your business. It is him. I don't like strangers here. Stop freaking. She's not a stranger. This is my friend. Great. Another one of your friends. I ordered you to never go through my files. You obviously have. I didn't touch your files, David. I could care less about your files. You care about starting shit, Chloe, and it's getting old. God, this guy is such a dick. One of my guns is missing. Did you take it? Oh God, I didn't take your stupid gun. You do know I believe in gun control? Wait, is that grass? You been toking up again in here? Oh yeah, guns, weed. You were tripping balls. I'm sick of your disrespect. Tell me the truth, that's an order. It's not my pot, it's from Max. Is this true? Oh boy. Huh. Oh, this is. Oh, I don't know. I think I've. 
probably take the blame in real life. Be like, fuck it. Yeah, that's what we're gonna do. I ain't uh, blaming her. Yeah, my pot. So you're bringing drugs into my home. How about if I call the police? That'd screw up your spotless Blackwell record. You do seem to get around, Max. I'm sick of you losers dragging Chloe down. Missy, you sure do like to pop up and start trouble. Like this afternoon. You don't have anything smart to say now, do get you? Get the hell away from huh? her, man. Stop harassing my friends. You don't That's have any dick. friends. Like you know. You're not even a real cop. You're a fucking security guard. I was a soldier, Chloe. And Max, if I see you here again, you'll learn all about real trouble. Thanks for taking the heat. We totally smacked his punk ass down, Max. He's no match for you and me now. That was an epic win. Anyway, let's sneak out the window. There is one cool place we can hang in this hickle. I really wonder if I should have just said it was hers. Man, that did not go well for me. If I want to keep my Blackwell scholarship, I shouldn't lie for anybody, even Chloe. Well, I, did. I have to think about my own future. I really don't know if that was the right move or not, to be honest, but whatever. Guess we'll find out what kind of consequences that has later. This game is mad relaxing, though, dude. I'll tell you something, guys. For my hangover that I have going on here, this is a wonderful game to play. Relaxing and shit. Isn't yeah, you guys who are watching, if you guys ever totally want to we say, kids. like, what decision I should make, it'd be Come cool on, it. slow poke. Hold on. Play the game the way my viewers want to see it. I haven't. So I'll wait a little forever. bit for the next mis decision so why do I have I to feel make. Like I was just here. Whoa! This is the exact oh, shit, same the path I was on during my nightmare today. I'll keep on for a little bit. The decision I can see if someone wants me to make a certain one, and we'll go based off of that. See how the game takes us. Something to be more interesting for you guys. Warren again. Oh my god, he got his ass kicked. And he's friend zoned and so he got lucky. his ass kicked. We can always escape. Looks like the youth of Arcadia Bay still come up here to party. Party. I never made it. Sure you don't want to be alone? Have a seat, Pete. Alright, um... Guys, should you tell me which way, uh... Which way should I answer this? Should I, uh, my pleasure or... You're in a good mood? Question mark. Anyone who wants to comment can. Give me a couple seconds here to make a decision. Or I'll do it. Okay, I guess we don't. Um, well then, I'll just go with you're in a good mood. You're in a good mood? Seeing my step dork get played makes me happy. I'm not as brave as Damn, you. Damn, he changes every time. And step David dork, is step indeed douche. a step douche. I'm sorry you had to experience it firsthand. You have to live with him. Has he always been this way? Ever since my desperate mom dragged his ass to our home, I never trusted David. I should have took his photo. Uh, I guess we should have took his photo. I should have taken his photo when he flipped out on Kate today. That would be killer blackmail material. Let's bust his ass. He has some kind of weird agenda. He has a lot of secret files. Rambo still thinks he's gathering enemy intelligence. Did you take a peek? Uh, well, yeah. Oh, I don't feel like I should lie about this. I feel like I told the truth here. Well, yeah, I couldn't help it. Never change. What did you find? 
creepy photos of Kate Marsh, other Blackwell students. This dude takes his job too seriously. He still thinks he's at war or something. He's a total surveillance fetish. Where are there spy cams in the house? I knew you didn't know. Chloe, your house is under surveillance. What are you talking about? There are cameras all over the house. I saw it on a monitor in the garage. I knew it. He's so hella fucking paranoid. Paranoid. I'll keep this a secret for now. Sometimes ignorance is bliss. No wonder I'm so miserable. Everybody in this town knows everybody's secrets. Even yours. Oh, I kind of want to. I think I think kind of want to know what Nathan's secrets are, unless someone out there wants me to do something different. But I kind of feel like I want to know what Nathan's secrets are. What's Nathan's secret? He's an elite asshole who sells bad shit cut with laxative. <laughs> and he dosed me with some drug in his room. What? I met him in some shithole bar oh, that didn't boy. card me. He was too rich for the place and too wasted, and he kept flashing so bills. So he probably tried Just to rape her. Just tell me what happened, Chloe. Now, that is not okay. I was an idiot. I thought he was so blazed it would be an easy score. You needed money that bad? Actually, yes. This is so bad. I owe big time. And I thought I'd have enough for me and Rachel if she showed up. How much? It's fun to have How much. much do you owe? Three grand plus interest. Woo! And before I could get a chunk of that from Nathan, he dosed my drink with some shit. God, Chloe. I can't believe this. I mean, I do. Then what? I know I passed out on the floor. It is definitely not okay. I woke up and that perv was smiling, crawling towards me with a camera. That is so not okay. Go on. Everything was a blur. I tried to kick him in the balls and broke a lamp. Nathan freaked, so I managed to bum rush the door and get the hell out. <sighs> Max, it was insane. I feel like the same answer, but I feel like I'd be mad if my friend told me this, so... I am so furious, I can't even speak. What did you do then? I figured I would make him pay me to keep quiet. So we met in the bathroom. And he brought a gun. That was Nathan's last mistake. He's a great guy. Uh, I think I'd call the police. That's what I would do. What are you going to do? Pop a, a cap in his ass? ass? Let's call the police. Screw that. Good thing you didn't tell anyone. Now I'm bringing the Walter White down on him. I won't huh. always be there to save you. You were here today, Max. You saved me. I'm still tripping on that. Seeing you after all these years feels like... Destiny. This is this is messed up stuff. Some if this is destiny, stuff. I hope we can find Rachel. I miss her, Max. Is she in love with Rachel? I'm kind of feeling like she is. I don't know though. Can't really. This prove shit that pit yet. has taken away everyone I've ever loved. I'd like to drop a bomb on Arcadia Bay and turn it to fucking glass. This going what on though. I don't know why. why Back in the beginning. Is a vanishing deer. See through deer. This game is crazy though. Like there's so much to it. I feel like the storyline's gonna get real deep in later cha the later chapters. Are we still up there? I have to find out. Oh, oh yeah, that didn't go great. Damn rock. Okay, so let's not get hit by the rock. Let's go this way. I get past the tree before it falls here. Get to the damn one lighthouse. Like 
guess I need them to be back there so I can get around here. Get around them. And thinking. Smart thinking. Oh my lord! The tornado is back! That was a big ass tornado, yo. That's gonna literally turn into glass. October 11th? Is that the date? Yeah. Is this Friday? That's only four days away. Uh oh. Looks like this might actually oh. happen. Now she's seeing the future, not just the past. The tornado is headed straight for the town. I'm back. Oh my lord, this is real. It's real. Oh man, this sucks. Max, what's going on? You totally blacked out. I didn't black out. I had another vision. The town is going to get wiped out by a tornado. How are they planning on gets stopping about that? Five tornadoes every 20 years. You just zoned. No, no, I saw it. I could actually feel the electricity in the air. Like, come on, take how a breath. Are they gonna okay? stop that? Chloe, I'm not crazy. But there's something else I have to tell you. Something hardcore. Talk to me, Max. I had the same vision earlier in class. When I came out of it, I discovered I could reverse time. Like I said, not crazy. But hi, right? Listen to me. How do you think I saved you in the bathroom? By reversing time? Yeah, sure. I saw you get shot, Chloe. Saw you actually die. I was able to go back and hit the fire alarm. Okay, I see you're a geek now with a great imagination, but this isn't anime or a video game. People don't have those powers, Max. I don't know what I have, but I have it. And I'm scared shitless. You need to get high. It's been a hell insane fucking day. I mean, in fairness, I wouldn't believe her either. What the hell is this? Snowflakes? It's like 80 degrees. How? Climate change. Or a storm is coming. Max, start from the beginning. Tell me everything. Well, maybe she does believe him now. It's snowing in 80 degree weather. Seems fucked up. That's such an ass. Assume that's the end of the first chapter. Um, I think I'm gonna play through the second one too, if we can, or at least some of it. We try to start it, but um, I'm gonna take a uh, bathroom break real quick. Sorry, guys, about that. I'll be right back. All right.
guys, let's uh, let's do this. Uh, let's do a uh, let's do the second chapter. Then can I skip this? I don't need to see all those names. Oh, look at this. It's cool. It gives you like uh, uh let's see. What does this tell you? It tells you like uh. How many people did? You chose to blame Chloe. You took the blame for Chloe. Thirty-two percent. You stayed hidden. Oh shit! You actually can hide still in that. I didn't realize that. So I hid the truth, and th only thirty-five percent of the people did that. Only thirty-four percent of people made fun of. So this is interesting. This like tells you like the amount of percentage that other people did the same things you did. So I guess to let you know like how like much you're like the crowd or not, I guess that's the point of this. That's what I'm assuming. Huh, that's interesting. Anyway. It's kinda of interesting. That uh, must be some highlights from episode two. Um so this just start, I guess it just starts loading. Or do I have to like click something? Could I be a menu? Hit continue, right? Should go right to the second episode then I would think. At least I would think. At least that would make sense this is going right to now this part of the game this officially I've never played episode two. So this is gonna be just as new for me as this for anyone who's watching. In the previous episode of Life is Strange. Get that gun away from me, psycho! No! So anyone who's played this and like, if they want to help out parts without taking too long to do it, let me know. Because I have never played this part of the game now, so like, there might be some times where I take a little longer trying to figure out what to do. I see everything here at Blackwell. Do you understand what I'm saying? No, and leave me alone. For reals, Warren, this is between you and me. Don't insult me. Max, go on. Hey, leave him alone. Max? Chloe? It makes perfect I sense. I shouldn't take too long to Welcome home, Max. This whole game is only five chapters, That's I Rachel think. Amber. Her missing person posters are all over Blackwell. Six months and ago, same thing. If you guys want to see me make a certain decision Arcadia. see what happens, if you're interested, worked. just put in the chat. Me. Now, without doubt, do it. Wait. Is it grass? Tell me the truth. That's an order. I didn't black out. I had another vision. The town is going to get wiped out by a tornado. Max, tell me everything. The consequences of the game and actions will impact the past, present, and future. So choose wisely. So, like, anyone who knows, like, does this game have, like, different endings depending on your choice? Or do most of them lead to the same way? It's interesting, though. This game's very interesting. Interested to see what happens now in the second one, because I've never played it. Can I skip through this? Like, I want to just play. Oh no, you can't skip because we're at the bottom that you're not allowed. No skipping! Life is Strange, episode 2, Out of Time. She had a wacky day yesterday. This is taking place the following day, I'm assuming. I really don't know. Or at least a little bit in the future. Huh. 
or just skip class. That's what I would do. I just skip class. How do I get to the next part, man? Oh, she's gonna sleep like 14 hours later, dude. Being a superhero is dirty work. I need a shower. Just because some ass pranked a girl's shampoo bottle and her hair fell out, we have to safeguard our toiletries. So, summer camp. Okay, Max, let's hit the showers now. No, not Lydia. Where are... Oh, I guess the showers are out in the... Morning, seriously? Do not forget I need those papers before tonight. Like, now. Thanks, Sherry. Oh my god, fuck. Yeah, of course, Victoria. I'll get the tests and papers to you this afternoon. I am so on it. Consider it done. Wonder where the shower. I guess it's a, it's a dorm hall room shower probably. Ow! That's messed up. This dude just throws something at her. Alyssa, can you stand over there? Um, okay, Max. If that makes you happy. Wow. Now that was close. Thank you, Max. Yeah, this girl gets shit thrown at her a lot. Like, a lot. I guess, is this the showers? Yep. Hey, Kate. How are you doing? I'm here. Thanks again for standing up for me yesterday. I needed that. Yeah, it's just a day later. Anytime. That guy has issues. Doesn't everybody here? By the way, Max, do you still have my copy of the October Country? Oh, yes, of course. It's great so far. I didn't realize Bradbury was such a poet. Can you please bring it back to my room this morning? I just need to take some notes for class. Absolutely. Yeah, it's I'll a storyish it game. Much more of a story game than anything else. What's up, Kate? School. That's it? That video of you clubbing didn't look like homework. Oh, boy. Victoria, that wasn't me. Oh, my God, right. Don't be shy. I think it's awesome you set a tongue record on video. <laughs> you're going to be sorry someday. Oh, boo-hoo. I'm sorry you're a viral slut. I'm sure she had fun. Looks like it. I know away. Nathan hooked her up. And you know he has the good shit. Preach it, sister. Yuck! I still have goddamn paint all over my face. Max Selfie thought she was a badass taking that picture. Bitch, real pain I should have beat her down. That was so uncool. She's jealous because Mark, Mr. Jefferson, knows I'm going to win the Everyday Heroes contest. I'm he thinks sure Max is a joke. I don't think he does. I think he'd hate you. Actually. She's a weirdo with that dumb camera. I hate that I'm so quirky crap. Anyway, let's leave the link to Kate's video so everybody gets a chance to see her in action. You are such an evil biatch. I love it. People are such the worst. These girls are terrible. They're so annoying. Equally annoying. It's just. Oh, they just want to kick their ass. I better get dressed and go give back Kate's book. Even if I can stop one person from watching it, it's worth it. 
sure will have consequences, I am sure. Cage room, where is my room at? I don't remember. No fucking way. This is not why I came to Blackwell. And I still have to clean all this crap up after I find Kate's book. After I find Kate's book. Where is Kate's book? No book here. Nope. Not there. Of course she just spilled soda on Kate's book. I better fix this fast. Kate needs the book and I don't want to add to her list of problems. Be gone, foul soft drink. Ah, much better this time. Aha, you sneaky book. You're mine. That book right out of the way. Right out of the way. I got changed, I think. Maybe I'll just put on a shirt and jeans. Hey, Einstein had the same exact suit for every day of the week. And he couldn't even rewind time. Victoria, of course. That's what I get for making fun of her. Bitch. Yeah, I guess that was the consequences that happened. That's fine, though. I'm not really worried about it. Don't care what people think about me. That's ridiculous. Private number. I know where you sleep. Who is this? That's so weird. Even with all this crazy shit going on, it is so cool having Chloe back in my life again. Like no time has passed. No need to go there now. Uh, I gotta go to someone's room, right? I'm not sure who's is this one. Is this where they go? What's happening, Dana? Everything cool between you and Juliet? Oh, yeah. Thanks again for releasing me from her captivity. By the way, the best and biggest news of the day is that Trevor asked me to the Halloween shindig. That's awesome, Dana. Nice. At least we're showing our faces together in public. So you absolutely should go with us. Borrow one of my outfits and come as a cute geek couple with your bitch Warren. Uh, I'm not big on cosplay. Don't let life pass you by, Max. So, Cosplayers. are you coming to the party or not? Why not? Why the fuck not? If I hate it, I can always go back to my room. That's the spirit, Max. After this, you'll be ready for a rave. It does sound like fun. Let's go raving. Now I have to rave, go contemplate rave. my party future. I gotta give that book to Kate, I think, wherever Kate's room's at. Oh, right here. Kate? You in there? Yes, I'm here. Come in, Max. Um, hey, Kate. I brought your book. Max, why did you step in between David and me yesterday? Oh, boy. Uh, I have no choice. I had no choice. David Madsen is an asshole. You had the choice to not get involved. Nobody here seems to care about anybody. Kate, I actually do care. So, what's the story with you and David? Oh boy. Well, he's a total paranoid ass. He thinks I'm part of the Vortex Club. Yeah, right. What about the video? Do you party with them? Did you party with them? I went to a Vortex Club party against my better judgment. Not my scene at all. 
You know how humiliating this is for me? I know this sucks, Kate, but tell me about the video and maybe I can help. Basically, I went to one Vortex Club party and ended up making out with a bunch of people. And I have no memory of it. Oh boy. It doesn't sound like you. I can't see you partying with Victoria. I didn't. You have to tell me more than that. What happened at the party? Did you drink? I swear to God, I had one sip of red wine, and then I drank water. I'm not not enough wasted. to get wasted, is it? I don't get wasted. Ever. I take a sip at church, and I don't end up on a viral video, okay? Did somebody drug you? I remember... I remember getting sick and dizzy. Go on. Yep, someone drove Then Nathan her. Prescott said he would take me to the hospital. Oh, boy. Nathan Prescott? Oh, shit. He was being nice for a change when he offered to help me. He's the opposite of nice. Him. Probably drugged her. What next? Wouldn't be the All first I recall is driving for a long time. And I woke up in a room. I thought it was a hospital because it was so white and bright. Go Death on. could not be the first time for him. I'm listening. Somebody was talking to me in a soft voice. That dude needs to get I thought it was away. a doctor until I heard Dave Nathan Prescott needs and to felt go. a sharp sting in my neck. And... And... And what? And? That's all I remember. I don't know what happened. I woke up outside my dorm room the next day. I didn't have any marks or bruises, but I felt gross. So, who took the video of you at the party? I have no idea. Probably Victoria. She was there being her mean self. Yeah. Jesus, Kate. Victoria and Nathan are the worst. I'm sorry. This is serious shit. How do I get a viral video taken down? Mm, I know it's luck. already spreading. What if my church sees that? I need to know what to do. Kate, we'll figure it out. I'll check back later, okay? Thanks, Max. You can put my book here near my bag. I wish you guys have a lot of trouble. Nathan, Nathan needs to go. He definitely needs to go. Kate used to play the violin every morning. She stopped last week. Hmm. Why can't I just leave? Kate's art is perfect for a children's book. Everything looks so fun and colorful and... Positive. Why can I not just leave? I had no idea that Kate ever hung out with Alyssa and Stella. Oh, there you go. Now you know who Shang's out with. Great. Why did she cover up the mirror? She can't look at herself? Kate's art is perfect for a children's book. Everything looks so fun and colorful and Why can positive. I Please stop! Stop! Can we stop it? How do I stop it? I don't want to go through this again. Talk to her again. I had you. Skip Kate. through this. What? He's a. Did you? I answered the same way I... because. You know how. I'm trying to Basically, get through this. I. Just say it's awful. That's times. awful. Try it. So, how did that happen? It's a long story. I'm still trying to sort it all out. You have to tell me more. I swear to God. Not enough to get wicked. Uh, I, I take. Trying to figure what I'm supposed to do here. Drug? I remember. Go on. Then Nathan. Nathan. Prescott. He was. All I recall. Go on. So. And what? And. The Kate. Okay.
Okay, so... Oh, I gotta put the book. That's what I have to do. Got it. <laughs> oh, that's all I had to do. So, Max, can I ask you a question? And please be honest. Absolutely, Kate. Anything. I need to find out if Nathan Prescott helped me or hurt me after that party. Probably hurt you. Should I go to the police? Uh... Until I go to the police. Yes, you should definitely go to the police, Kate. I totally believe every word you say. Nathan Prescott is truly dangerous. Bless you, Max. I will go to the police. And also Principal Wells. With you as my backup witness, they'll have to take us seriously now. Backup witness? Well, I mean, I believe you in everything, but we're still just spoiled punk students to the cops and faculty. I just... I think we need to be very careful here. Why? Careful of what? Nothing. Except the Prescotts are a powerful family. I hope this won't backfire on us, that's all. Even though that rich bastard has earned some serious bad karma. Hey, he's a jackass. He'll get but it. It will backfire on you. There's no doubt about that. Time out, Max. You actually told Kate to go to the police and the principal after getting a scary text threat. Now the police will definitely drag you into this shit. Yeah, let's look for proof first. Let's go back and fix that little mistake that we had here. Huh. Put the book back down. So, Max? Can I ask you a question? And please be honest. Absolutely, Kate. Anything. I need to find out if Nathan Prescott helped me or hurt me after that party. Should I go to the police? Look for proof. I think that's a better answer, actually, when I think about it. If you do that, they won't believe you. You're on video grabbing at all those guys, and they'll use that against you. Bad. But I know I was drugged. That's what you have to prove, not them. I'm just telling you how the cops in school will look at this. The video doesn't exactly back you up. You make me feel so hopeless. No, no, Kate. I just don't want you to get hurt anymore. That seems impossible at this point. So that's your answer? I, I think we should wait. There are other things going on that might help you. But not right now. So I can walk down the halls with people calling me a viral slut. Thanks, Max. Oh, now she's getting mad at me, but it's better the other way. I think it's better than the other way. Good job, Dr. Max. She didn't like what I had to say, but we need more proof of what happened. I think that is much better than the other one. Other way. Food. Two whales. So we gotta get food now, I guess. It's over here. Warren, oh, look, what are you Warren. doing here? Oh, nothing. Waiting for a call? I mean, I already took the call. Anyway, I wanted to rap about that action yesterday. By the way, thank you for stepping in. You were pretty badass, Warren. I owe you. How is this eye already oh, fixed yes, from a did. day? I got way. knocked on my ass by uh, that. That's not that completely fixed. I'm some personal superhero. You're a real everyday hero. You stood up to a bully and it was awesome. And got your ass kicked. Even though you left me with said bully and ran off with that girl, she's pretty punk rock. How do you know her? 
an old friend, Chloe Price. We haven't seen each other in a while. I bet you were glad to see her blast up in that truck like a rock star. Which begs the question, why is Nathan Prescott getting psycho on you? He's dangerous. Uh, okay, don't I don't want you to get involved. You got me there, but lay low. Nathan Prescott is going to get his karma soon. You're fucking weak. Like that bizarro snowfall yesterday? Speaking of dystopia, that drive-in is having a 70s Planet of the Apes marathon. Let's go ape! Tell him yes. Yes, that's exactly what I need. I love those old school ape films. Well, that was easier than I thought. Cool, I'll text you the info. Yeah, I'm sure it has consequences. Like everything else does. David talking to Nathan cannot be a good thing. This has something to do with Kate. Or Rachel. Nutty stuff. Guess you put headphones on, can't hear anything now. 